Hi, she was seven. Okay, so I want to talk to y'all today about knowing yourself and how it plays an important part of the type of person you end up with in a relationship. So many people do not know who they are, do not know what they want in life, do not know what kind of future they want. They just walk around with nothing in their mind of where they want to be in five years. They just walk around. And so they're sending out this vibration of, I'll take whatever comes to me. I'll take whatever comes to me because I don't have a plan. I don't have a list. I don't have any goals about where I want to be in five years. So I'm game for anything. Okay. So this is the vibration you're sending out. And this is why certain type of guys or type of women come into your life because you're not sending out a specific, you know, need or want or manifestation of the type of person you want to be with, you know, or if you do, it's very vague and it's not enough to get what actually, you know, what you need. So knowing who you are and knowing what you want is very important, even if you realize it or not. If, if, if you take a woman who doesn't know what she wants in her life or, no, you know, knows where she wants to be in five years, and then you take a woman who has a plan, who knows where she wants to be in five years, who knows what she wants to be, the type of man she wants to be with, how many children she wants to have, what she's going to name them, what's out of town she wants to live on, and all of that. You take that type of woman versus the woman who doesn't even plan for the next day, and you will see the type of men that, are, that, that they attract. It will be to two totally different types of guys. The woman with the plan is going to only attract men who can actually be a part of that plan, help her with that plan, or be actually, you know, uh, part of the plan itself. Now, the woman with no plan, she's going to attract anybody, a stragglers. She's going to attract people who don't know what they want either, who are still searching. Um, and, you know, two people with no plan, you know, lacks foundation, lacks commitment, lacks honor, because they haven't decided who they are or what they want. So if they don't want you, you can be gone the next day. Or if they see something else that they like, they're gonna go run over there. You know why? Because they don't have a set mind of what they want in life either. So when you meet people, this is a very important question to ask. Where do you see yourself in five years? And if their answer is, well, uh, I don't think that far ahead, uh, I, I don't know, maybe, listen to keywords, maybe, I don't know, I don't think, listen to those words, keywords, I don't know, I don't think, uh, maybe. These are the words that you need to stay away from. If you hear that come out of someone's mouth, let that be your last date or conversation with them. Okay, so. And you meet a guy and you ask him, okay, where do you see yourself in five years? Or you meet a lady and you say, where do you see yourself in five years? If she goes bam, 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 bam down a list, that is a good sign. Because she's already focused, she's already thought about it, she's already visualized it, she has goals set in place, she's already researched whatever she just went down a list for. And it's already in action, it's coming to her. Okay, so, keywords, will, going to, eventually plan goals uh, stability uh, education listen to all these words you know I, uh, where do you see yourself in five years well I see myself in a position able to purchase a house to start a family to be uh, this far in my career to go to school to this this and that you know if they can name off a list of stuff they've actually thought about and not pulling stuff out the sky and looking around thinking about it, you know they're there already mentally. And once you're there mentally, it's coming to you physically already. It's on the way. So, and also listen to the person that talks more than they actually have to show. 
that's a key sign okay we have talkers now if you get some if you get someone who likes to talk about themselves and talk 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 don't ask you about yourself has all these plans and goals and and they're gonna do this this isn't that and you look around and don't see any evidence of anything so far he's a talker or she's a talker um, and when they when they talk too much and they're overcompensating for what they don't have yet when a person has a plan in place and they're already taking steps towards it they don't need to really talk about it too much okay so that's another hint uh, <laughs> so yeah know what you want because you're gonna attract people who know what they want and when two people know what they want there's no confusion there's no uh, you know arguing about well I thought you wanted this or I thought you wanted that or I thought you said this there's nothing like that because you've already made the plan it's already in motion so keep that in mind when you when you meet people okay I don't hear I don't care how cute they are cute can't pay the bills especially if you're a guy cute don't pay the bills unless you're living off some woman who likes your cuteness and pays your bills okay um, <laughs> So ladies, you got to get this look thing out your, out your head. I know a lot of young women go for looks. Looks will not get you in. Men's looks do not get them anywhere past a certain age. You know why? Because once a man reaches a certain age, he's looked at by his financial stability. And that's just truth. you never seen somebody who's 40 years old. Think about this, y'all. you never seen a man who is 40 years old whose highest compliment was oh you're so cute or oh you're so handsome think about this if uh whoever like let's just pick an older actor Idris Elba Denzel Washington Johnny Depp Keanu Reeves if they were all broke would you still think they were like cute at their age no you'd be like well he's attractive he's attractive but walk on by so you gotta remember, ladies, when you when you're planning for the future, you can't use cute as a factor, especially with men. You gotta use brains. They gotta have brains, a plan, and they have to become stable. Because after the age of 40, they get no respect for what they look like. It's just like, what can you do? What can you produce? Let me see your uh <laughs> Let me see your portfolio. What have you invested? What have you saved? Can you buy a house? Do you have good credit? Um, do you have a college fund set up for your children? This, this, and that. This becomes the attraction. Okay? Not, oh, he's so cute. Oh, look at him. That old 40-year-old guy. He's so cute. No, doesn't fly anymore. After, after your mid-30s, it's over, guys. So you got to get it together. Um, and for women, you know, the same thing. But see, women got tricks, though. They can look young for a long time. They can pile on the makeup, pile on the wigs, um, and stuff like that, and go for older men. But there, there's going to come a time where even the older men, or the woman's going to become older, and even older men aren't going to want her. So she has to, you know, settle down with somebody. She has to figure out what she wants, the type of man she wants, what's important to her, um, and stuff like that. So usually you'll see ladies try to settle down if they want kids before the age of 30 uh, or, you know, if the woman doesn't want kids or already has kids and hasn't settled down, she'll try to settle down by the age of 40, 45. Okay, because she knows, you know, I don't want to spend the rest of my life alone. My kids are grown. It's time to, you know, find this person so especially when you're older you need to find somebody with a plan you know when you're young and free like if you're if you're under 25 just go have fun after the age of 25 you got to start thinking okay after 25 if you're still dating that um well I don't know we'll see kind of guy you're going backwards so remember that ladies don't go backwards <laughs> And I always say this, if, if the man you're deciding to be with, you know, long term, cannot provide you with the lifestyle that you are raised in or better, 
what are you really saying to yourself? You know, what are you really saying to yourself? I don't deserve, I don't even deserve the lifestyle I was raised in because I'm going to settle for this guy that doesn't have his stuff together and, you know, but maybe I can help out. And I know there's a lot of people that do have to have two income families and that's fine. But remember, as long as he has potential, as long as he's going upward and not dragging you down, that's, that's good, okay? Now everybody's rich, we know that. So as long as he's going up and not backwards, if, if nothing is gonna pull you back by being with him, then by all means be with him, you know? If you're not gonna have to suffer the consequences later for being with someone, um, who's not where they should be in life yet, uh, who has past mistakes and stuff on their records and stuff they can't get over and, you know, they can't get hired anywhere because they've done this, this, and that. That's only going to drag you down. So you want to avoid that, okay? You want to avoid that for your future and your future generations. You don't, you don't want to latch on to that. You want to let that go and say, this is not what's best for my life. This is not going to push me ahead. This is not going to be good for my kids. There's nothing going to come from this that's going to benefit me in the least bit. Okay. So we have to use our brains and our hearts to make these decisions. Okay. A lot of times when women are in love or in a relationship, they, they forget to use this. And men too. They forget to use this. You know, they don't look five years into the future. They're looking at today and right now, and that's fine. It's fun to live in the moment. But once you get to a certain age, you got to start planning for your future generations so they can have their chance to live in their moment without, you know, suffering. Okay? So I'm going to leave it at that. I'll say if you have any questions or comments, um, leave them down below. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.